Okay, I just finished the mailbag and uh, I decided I'd do a quick review on this USB uh, boroscope that I got. You can buy these uh, from eBay or various other sources. It just shows up as a USB webcam. This is Android only, supposedly, and in theory, it should have some LED lighting and we should be able to use it for small engine work like looking down in cylinders or various other jobs where we need to get into a really tight space. Again, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll give it a go. I'm trying to do a few more of these quick reviews as often as possible on the channel. So what I've got is an Android smartphone here and with any luck this should get recognized and it does. And we do have a USB camera app that has opened. And whether or not it works, hmm, interesting. Let's see what happens if we roll the... No, nothing. Well, we do have LEDs. Yeah, the LEDs are on. If we roll it all the way up, we get lots of LED. But it looks like something has gone awry with our app. I don't think that's right. So we'll exit out and give it another try here. Okay, I think I got it figured. I went into the settings in this app and just hit reset on them. And that seemed to have taken care of everything. I just hit reset right there. And that seems to have corrected the mess. Let's see if we can get them off the screen. There we go. Now we have the ability to focus in on th things. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can start screen recording here, and then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to show you a little bit. With any luck, this will allow me to show it on the screen. So our focal distance appears to be fixed. I wonder, can we adjust focus? If we move it off of auto. Yeah, it seems to not like anything that way. But that's okay. I didn't expect us to be able to adjust it. Let's try adjusting the LED brightness. So there's our phone. And if we go down to the cardboard and really turn our LEDs up. Oh yeah, now we get detail and it focuses really quickly. Actually, that works, that works not bad at all. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it in something else. Back to the main camera, in theory, should be able to bring this over. This is a little chainsaw. This is an old Mini Mac, and it's a McCullough chainsaw. Uh, they're a 110 chainsaw, and if we feed this down through the spark plug hole, I wonder what we'll get. I see a piston. Now, oh, there's no recoil on this. I can't move the piston. Oh, darn. I didn't think of that. I need a different example. I may have to cue something else up. If we go down through the spark plug hole, oh, this is going to be a long review. Because it takes time to get used to these things. But sure enough, there's our ports. That is our exhaust port. It's got to be. Come on now. No problem getting down through, but it's hard to manipulate the end of the lens. There we go. Now we can see the cylinder wall and ports and the top of the piston, which has got a little bit of carbon on it, as expected. And yeah, that's working pretty good. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. I wonder if we can get something else. Okay, here's another engine. This is a little pocket bike engine. And I'll set up our screen recording here on the phone again. Maybe, just maybe, we can bring you along. I actually really like the performance of this. I'm, I'm quite impressed. So, heading down through. Let's see if we can get through the head. Without running into the casting. Come on. Easier if I just looked. Okay, there we are. We're in. Now the piston's right at top dead center by the looks of it here. Let's move it down. We're heading down, down, down. There's bottom dead center. All right. 
Let's see if we can look around. Oh yeah, there's our cylinder. And this is a brand new engine. Never been run. So if we hold a little angle on our boroscope, we can see the cylinder wall wonderfully. Now if we manipulate the brightness at the same time, not that much, Eric. And then the auto exposure kind of kicks all over the place, so you gotta let it settle. But I think down just a little bit will give us better contrast. Yeah, and it does. Look at that. Now we can see inside the cylinder wall. See our ports, top of the piston, and just look around. That's working wonderful. I'm, it takes some doing because the the tip can't be manipulated remotely like an expensive like several thousand dollar bar scope but what can you expect for ten bucks that's working wonderful I don't know guys you guys let me know throw a comment down below what you think of this but overall I think that's gonna be wonderful handy tool to add to the arsenal and all you need is a Android smartphone and you're all set you can take a look down in some pretty small tight spaces I like it cheers